Juin sent me three of these brand new M20C RBG pocket lights. They are 20 watt little mini LED panel lights and they are unlike anything currently on the market. I decided to see if I could make a short film around my house with nothing but two or three of these brand new pocket lights. I'll show it to you shortly and when it finishes, we'll talk about how I made it and what I like and don't like about these brand new lights. So enjoy the film. So yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. We aren't professionals um, in any case, but it was still fun to make. A little spooky, little home intruder type video. Um, so I hope you liked it again. And going into these lights. So I already use a Zhuin G60 watt for my key light here. So I've been using this for ever since I started this channel. So all my videos maybe minus one has been shot on that key light already. So I'm already familiar with the brand. So when they decided to send these over, of course I said yes. These lights are small, they're versatile, and super powerful. Um, the problem that these lights solve for me is all the options to modify the light. It's magnetic and stackable. And once again, it's super compact and it's 20 watts of output, other lights that are similar to these are gonna be less than 20 watts. The RGB version of the light is only 139 bucks. Um, if you want the combo pack like this though, it is 169, but I do think that it's well worth it just to get the combo pack you know, right off the bat. Again, before we get into the lighting breakdown of how I made that short film, I wanna kinda of talk about the light and the specs of it first. So again, it's magnetic, as I mentioned before. So here's the light. And then it has all of these different cool modifiers that come with it. Again, for only 30 bucks more, you might as well get the combo pack. So to start off is this cage. So you can take this off, uh, kind of like this. There's a little um, button here if you can see it in the camera, let me uh, try to get in focus here. So here's the light right here. And then there's this little spring that you click and then you can take the cage off if you don't want it. However, the cage is the main part of the whole thing. Again, it's, it's magnetic. This whole strip on the back is a magnet. So you can stick it anywhere um, and that's another thing you don't need 
light stands for these lights if you don't want to. But it also kind of gives you a little more creativity, I think, which I like. So you can just pop them up on any surface if you want a specific angle of something or you just want to be able to hit you know, a corner maybe a little bit that's dark that you want to lighten up a bit. You can just pop this with the magnetic strip on it onto your ceiling, onto an appliance, anywhere on the house that of course has a magnetic surface. Um, it also has all these different cold shoe mounting points. So again, you can put it on top of your camera, you can put it on you know, a rig of some sort, you can attach things to it. So if this is on your camera and you wanna add a mic on here um, or another light or any sort of other accessories, it has all these cool points that you can see that makes the cage well worth it. Now what goes on next is you have a diffusion filter. So this, again, everything's magnetic. It's gonna provide softer light. So this is gonna be really great if you're gonna shoot um, maybe for some products. Um, you wanna get real soft light on the product, you're real close in. I probably won't use this because um, for a lot of the times I am not using it on a, on a subject, it's more for environment or for setting up a scene of some sort, but it's really great to have nevertheless. The next thing is this honeycomb modifier. This helps shape the light and reduce the light from just blasting everywhere. It gives you a lot of focus and control of that light, which again is a big part of cinematic lighting which is getting control and getting the right focus for your light source. So again, this honeycomb uh, shape pattern here that you can see, it really helps direct the light and focus it. For the video that I showed you earlier, I had some with the honeycomb on it, some without, because I do want it to blast throughout the room for maybe that blue light shot. Um, so I didn't have the honeycomb filter on for that. And then finally, if you need even more control and direction with your light, this is where these barn doors come in. So you can really focus the beam to exact positions. See right here? So whether you're motivating um, a practical light or lighting a subject in a specific and intentional way, this will definitely help you do that. So you can just easily move these as you need to and then I can even turn this on so you can kind of see a little bit of a better idea. So sorry to blind anyone, but um, you have it, oops, I had it on a candle mode, which we'll get into later. So you can have it just shining, just straight, you know, onto me. If you open up the barn doors, you don't have it, you, it kind of spills off you know on the wall behind me here um, and then again those barn doors especially with the honeycomb really directs the light you know if you want a really dramatic scene you have it above you but it really directs the light and focus it on your subject or environment so for the film aside from the ability to change color temperature and color itself with the light there are also different effect modes this light can do. For the short film, I use two of them, one to mock a television screen, and one to give the illusion of a bad or broken light bulb down in the basement. So there's also other different modes you can do. Um, there's a candle mode, which I might be nice if you were like kind of shooting something that needs a little bit more ambiance, I guess. Um, but I like the broken bulb and I like the television mode personally. I also used one on a blue tint to play off of that television screen but also set the scene for a somewhat blue hour. So it's kind of towards the evening time, um, you, the sun setting, and you know, if you know what blue hour is, you know what I'm talking about. So I had one of the lights set to a blue tint Again, playing off of the blue light that you get from your TV set, but also the blue that is shining in from outside, um, kind of giving that mood and kind of that kind of creepy sun setting nighttime feel 
for the video. Again, what I really love about these lights is that they're super fun to use, but also that they push me creatively. I think because they're so simple to use, um, I don't have to worry about dragging light stands through my home or you know setting up all these boom rigs and all these extension poles. I can just have this simple light, you know, plaster it wherever I need to, and that kind of lets me work differently. So if you're restricted, if you know you don't have the boundless innovation that a light like this can give you, then you're kind of stuck in a box. And working in a box, again, has its own challenges. Um, it could be a, a positive thing, but for me, being able to just do whatever I need to do, to have an image in my mind, and then to physically put that into the scene to create the image that I want is, I mean, priceless, honestly. When using these lights, you can expect to get about 40 to 60 minutes of runtime, and the battery, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but this is the battery right here. So this strip right here is you know, built into the design of the light, which I think is also really cool. But the battery will get you, yeah, depend, depending on usage, you can get 40 to 60 minutes. Um, there's no um, V-mount lock on the back, which I think I would have liked, um, because if you are running for a while or you are using these for a lot um, of different things and you have them jacked up all the way, they are gonna run out of battery, again, within that 40, 45 minutes, 60 minute time frame. So if you had a V-mount, you know, I could maybe hook on an external battery to this and kind of move it around easier. But since it doesn't have that, I kind of had to jerry-rig my own power supply set up with cables running and then uh, USB-C battery banks and stuff like that. So um, I think that would have been a great improvement and maybe they'll come out with another cage for that option, but um, the battery nonetheless is great. The fans do, it, it does have an internal fan. So what you kind of need for something at this size because it will overheat. So the fan came on about 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes while I was shooting. Uh, my house is usually around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So kind of gauge that. Again, mileage may vary for you depending on the temperature of the room and how much your usage is, but for me, full power, um, again, around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the fan did come on about 10 minutes or so, and it's not, it's not loud, it is, um, I noticed it, but it wasn't enough to ruin the shot or to affect the audio in any way. It's just a slight little fan um, that probably camera a camera would have, it's pretty similar to the camera I have here, the fan noise is very, very minimal. Um, but just letting you know that is something that you will expect. Just if you're using these lights and you hear kind of something pop on, that's the internal fan. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's these new Zhuin M20C Pocket RBG lights. I love them. They're great. If you're just starting out, definitely grab these. Again, 169 bucks. You can't beat it. Um, you don't need a giant key light like I have or other creators have. Um, you could get by with just one or two of these lights really well. Um, now, I'm not going to only use these moving forward, but they're definitely going to be a part of my camera bag and they're going to definitely be a part of other films and other videos that I make. And who knows, I might throw one in the background here and see if anyone even notices um, because they do really help to motivate those practicals and to light up your scene. So if you guys have any questions about them that I didn't address, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer those for you guys. Um, and as always, if you wanna pick these up for yourself, I do have a link in the description. Uh, there might be a coupon code as well, definitely check the description for that. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace.